Hello, and welcome to this how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video, you will see how to clone an existing schedule and modify its definitions using the browser-based Blue Prism version 7.1 control room. You will see how to access and view schedules and schedule manager section of the browser-based control room, filter schedule by name to quickly find the schedule you are looking for, clone a schedule and edit schedule definitions. The cloning capability creates a near identical copy of a schedule, including all its tasks and sessions, along with their startup properties. This can be used to create multiple instances of the process to increase its throughput, or just to make a copy with different schedule definitions and set of tasks and sessions. To get started, log into Hub and open the left menu to access the control room with version 7.1. Two new sections have been added to the control room. The schedule activity section gives you a detailed view of all the schedule activities, allows you to monitor the status and create customized views. The schedule manager section lets you control schedules and modify their definitions, tasks, and sessions. To clone a schedule, let's go to the Schedule Manager page and find the schedule to be cloned. If you have multiple schedules, you can use the Filter by Schedule Name field to search and find the schedule quickly. Once you find the schedule, click the ellipsis on the Schedule card and click Clone. On the Clone Schedule page, provide a name for the clone. By default, Copy of will be prefixed to the original schedule name, but you can rename it if required. If you check the option, would you like to retire customer onboarding one digital worker? The original schedule will be retired once the clone is created. For this video demonstration, we will keep the default setting and keep it unchecked to retain the original schedule. Now, provide a short description for the clone to describe its purpose. The next step is to select any of the existing tasks as the initial task to be executed when the schedule runs. This is important and cannot be left blank. By default, the original schedule's configuration will be selected here, but can be changed if required. For this demo, let's set process cases task as the initial task. Before we save the schedule, Let's check and modify its definitions by clicking the Schedule option. The schedule definitions you see here are as same as the desktop version of Control Room. For this demo, we are setting the definitions to run this clone schedule twice every hour between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. on all working weekdays. Once you set the definitions, click Save, and the clone schedule is now created and configured to run as per the definitions. During this video you have seen how to access and view schedules in Schedule Manager section of the browser-based control room. Filter schedule by name to quickly find the schedule you are looking for. Clone a schedule and edit schedule definitions. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about any other Blue Prism product, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below.
You can also visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions via the link in the description below.